What's going on YouTube? So, um, my mother, uh, is moving and, um, she had a little problem with her dryer. So this is normally out of my normal scope of, um, videos. However, I felt like just in case somebody's on my channel and needs to know this, um, at least they know where to go. So, um, the problem is, is that, uh, her dryer has three prongs and the new outlet has four prongs. So, uh, I'm going to show you within my Beastie Chronicles, um, platform, how to change a three prong to a four prong so that you can use your dryer. So let's go. three prong there are three wires and you know it comes off just like this so with most dryers they have it color coded red this is normally white but they have it yellow and then black okay uh, well, that's uh... okay so I remove these three, real simple. You take it, uh, you're plugged up in there with uh, three screws and you take uh, this, there's a hole, you pull that out. Okay, now you're gonna take your, uh, your new four prong that has four wires. Let me do it like a really YouTuber. Hold on a second. Do it like a really YouTuber. Okay, so you have four wires. Okay, now it's going to go just the way it is here. Red to red. Fortunately, white to yellow and black to black. Now, this fourth wire, you would think, you would say, okay, well, it doesn't work that way, whatever, whatnot. But this fourth wire goes right here. Okay, that's gonna be your secondary ground wire. So um, basically just to give you a little update about these, um, the government decided to change them from, um, three prongs to four prongs, I wanna say in the 90s, I believe. Um, so you'll find these on dryers and I think ovens. Uh, so if ever you need to change something out, that's how you're gonna do it. They're normally color coded for you. Um, this one, for some odd reason, uh, yellow is in the middle, but uh, when you're doing something like this, always remember the white goes in the middle, and uh, this green one is going to be a secondary ground, and it goes right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and show you how it works. Something I didn't mention. Um, there was this cover on it, and this was right here. Now, this is just to confirm that this is a secondary grounding because this wire was connected to your yellow cord. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to yell out, 
Go Go Gadget Green and try to get this uh, over to that one. Huh. Might be a little easier if I squeeze that out and call it out. Uh, so this was a secondary ground, so there's no need to put this back on. Uh, but what I will do, hmm. huh. I will put this back over here uh, on this plate just in case um, my mother goes back to another dryer and needs three quarts again. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. That sounds like a great plan, Stu. I wasn't planning on getting dirty over here today. But sometime mom calls. You know what? No. I'm going to put that just like so. So we keep that flush. Yep. You son of a god. <sighs> you dirty rat. So what it's all about on my channel. You got to keep it real. Sometimes screws want to be out of line. And you got to keep them in line. Yep. You got to keep them in line. So what I'm going to do, screw this all the way down. and tight so we don't have to worry about this flapping around hitting anything extra all right and lastly we're gonna put this uh, gonna put the plate on and we're gonna be done I'll spare you And of course, like any great DIYer, I had to make sure that what I did worked. So I just so happened to have a few loads of clothes that I brought from my house over to my mother's house just to make sure that everything ran smoothly. So as you see, the washer works just fine, and I had to make sure that the dryer uh, offered the right amount of heat and fluff and everything else like that. So I feel like this is a job well done for Beastie and Friends. complete sidebar. Have you ever noticed that the water and the electricity seems so much better when it's free or at your parents' house? Me too.